Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker, welcome back once again to another Call of Duty Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well. What we're going to be talking about is this new weapon that should be coming soon here to Call of Duty Mobile. This is the HBR A3. We're going to go into more detail as well as just show off this whole minute and 50 long teaser. Just go and react to everything for the very first time live with you guys. If you guys do enjoy this video, smacking the like on it would be awesome. As well as if you guys are new, that'd be cool if you guys could go and subscribe. As well as I quickly want to mention that if you guys are interested in winning a Season 3 Battle Pass, all you have to go and do is subscribe to my live streaming channel and then the Parker the Slayer Clips channel. The winner should be picked today on my Parker the Slayer live stream. The stream should be starting around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so it should be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there, but with that said, we might as well get right into the new weapon teaser here. So here we go. We're currently in my editing software right now, and we're going to go and react to this whole thing for the very first time live with you guys. Now, I quickly want to mention that this was actually taken from the Garena version of Call of Duty Mobile. Usually they do these little promotional things before they go and actually have the weapon drop itself. And it is going to be unfortunate what I'm about to go and say here, but I'm pretty sure the only way normal regular players will be able to go and get this weapon or i should say all players will just be through the lucky draw so you're probably gonna have to spend upwards up to 200 dollars going and getting this new weapon which is very unfortunate but with that said we might as well go and just play the video here so it's a weapon spotlight and it's going to be called the hbr a3 dragon dance now if you guys didn't know so already, because I know not that many people might have played this game, this weapon is actually from Advanced Warfare, a game that I probably only have about five hours of playtime in. I just wasn't a really big fan of the jetpack aspect of this game, but it's really cool because I'm pretty sure this is our first ever just Advanced Warfare exclusive weapon. So, I don't know. I think that's really cool. As well as just the weapon design itself. Having the dragon right by the clip there. As well as just the trigger kind of going along the, the whole weapon there. That's really awesome looking. So, kind of continuing on. They're just speaking, like I said, in another language right now. And not only do we have our first like 360 view here. Because I'll go and play the video a little bit longer. We also have... A look at a new character that we could go and expect in this game as well so yeah like look they're both of the weapon as well as the character skin itself they match up that's pretty cool i'm assuming this is probably in celebration of the chinese new year like yeah i'm gonna go and look it up right now because that would make sense that that's why they're kind of going and dropping this now because yeah january 25th which is this saturday that's when the chinese new year is starting so maybe we can go and expect this weapon to be dropping sometime later on today or maybe sometime within the next couple of weeks from now that would kind of be my guess but dude that character actually looks pretty dope looking like feel free to go and let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about both of these what do you think about the weapon from a skin perspective and then just going back on the character what do you think about this character i'm assuming it's a female character as well just kind of based off the eyes and the face there but yeah man very cool okay we'll kind of go and continue on and they're just kind of showing off the 360 view now you can actually see the stats for this as well now like i said this is coming from the garena version of the game so i'm pretty sure the top one that is in regards to the damage i'm not really familiar with what everything else means and i would love to go and kind of compare those stats with the other ar stats here because this is an assault rifle weapon but uh those are all the stats just in case anyone's interested and there are indeed weapon perks that are also going to be associated with this weapon and here we go. Okay, so this is our first ever look in-game of what we can go and expect with this weapon. So this guy is currently playing on Crash right now. I, I'm just interested. Oh, oh my god, hold up. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, did you guys notice any recoil with this weapon? Here, hold up. I'm gonna go back here really fast. Please. Dude, is this, is this the AK-117? Oh my god, where is the recoil <laughs> with this weapon right here? Okay, d I, I hate to like continue just doing the same clip here. Oh my god. 
that just annihilated people and he wasn't even going for pure headshots there those were don't get me wrong they were above the chest shots but oh my god <laughs> okay well this kind of frightens me a little bit because now we could actually be potentially going into the whole pay to win category here like i know call of duty mobile for the most part has been very borderline when it comes to certain weapon skins or certain weapon perks having just advantages over just the normal base free-to-play weapons that people would go and get so with just seeing the gameplay for the very first time with this gun here that kind of freaks me out a little bit <laughs> in which this could be our first ever actual pay to win weapon here so now they're just going and putting on uh, attachments we have like a red dot scope going on and i think this is the part of the video where they actually go and recommend stuff to us so they're going and recommending quick draw the laser sight which is really weird dang i'm like an assault rifle too and then an extended mag hmm so that's what the green version of call of duty mobile is recommending for players to go and equip yeah having the laser sight is really interesting i know ak117 if you go and put a laser sight on that and this is more or less for the battle royale for this game um and you go and hip fire the ak117 is pretty amazing and i would i wouldn't mind going and checking out what the actual firing rate of this weapon is too and kind of go and compare that also to the ak117 but when it comes to perks they're recommending lightweight for you to go and equip here which is interesting um they're recommending toughness which which okay for a second i thought maybe they're recommending toughness just due to the flinch of your character but i don't even think that guy got shot at all in that game and that weapon was still a laser but we'll go and continue on and then finally dead silence okay and here we go oh dang oh my god okay let's just wow oh my god dude this thing is a laser right now okay okay i want to rewatch every little bit of that i just want to see if there's any type of recoil going on so i'm going to actually go and slow this down to like 0.5 and i would not mind going and seeing if there's any like existent recoil because this is pretty nutty so it's shooting dude i see no recoil please let me know if you guys are seeing anything because i would say that there's a little bit of horizontal recoil going in but I think it's just whoever is the guy controlling this weapon. I think it's just he has his sensitivity settings way too high. And he's just making some really big adjustments. Because I'm not seeing anything in regards to recoil with this weapon. Like he's getting into medium range gunfights here. And just putting in work. Which is crazy. Wow. Holy smokes okay ladies and gentlemen this scares me a lot well um please let me know what you guys think about this new weapon in the comment section down below the video there's only a little bit more left here and i want to be able to go and just fully go with it and yeah so it is indeed 100 going to be coming in a lucky draw here the crimson rush draw is what it's going to be called the weapon itself hbr a3 dragon dance and then when it comes to the actual character that you can go and get i believe it's called the serif freak show okay it's interesting why they actually have like separate names there even though the skins look really familiar and that is gonna be it for the whole thing well 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 in conclusion this gun looks like an absolute savage just based off the gameplay first off the recoil is pretty much non-existent the damage is decent i'm not saying the damage is insane by any means but just the recoil having pretty much no recoil is gonna make this gun uh, like the AK-117 back in Season 2 and probably even a little bit better. Like the firing rate looked really decent as well. So it just scares me because the only way 
normal players are going to be able to go and get this weapon is just by going and participating in the whole lucky draw thing you're probably going to be spending upwards up to 200 dollars to go and get this which is also a thing that i'm not a big fan of but uh yeah ladies and gentlemen that's going to be the video let me know in the comment section down below what you guys believe about this whole thing but with that said my name is parker hopefully you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous day because i certainly am and i guess i'll talk to you guys within the next video